Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm up in beautiful Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, and we are getting ready to go into the Gettysburg Military Antique Show. It's uh, They have it twice a year, and this is the spring show, and uh, they got like 500 tables advertised, and then it's supposed to be everything from Revolutionary War through the Vietnam War, so I'm going to take you inside here and we're going to look around. So, let's go. All right, I just finished walking around the show. They don't have very much in the line of World War II here. It's a lot of Civil War. But uh, I'll show you what I got when I get home. But uh, right now, I'm going to take you around and show you what they got here. Start off here with this table. A little flop of smock. Panzer jacket. Right here, we got an Africa Corps uniform and a... German Army one. Uh, American helmets. This vendor here is a friend of mine. He's got a lot of different varieties. And on this guy's table. Just a variety of World War II and then going into the World War I uniforms here. Uh, armor patch. Uh, Marine Corps cover. Tank disc on that, and we've got the armor patch on there. Some Japanese flags and still gear, German canteens. One good thing about this show, you're going to see a lot of really nice Civil War muskets. Now I'll walk down the line here. There you some. Rifles, and shotguns, and muskets. There's a full rack of them. Excuse me. And at this show, you're going to see a lot of Civil War insignias and bullets and uh, buttons, belt buckles, cap insignias. And here on top, we got an M1 Garand from World War II. And some carbines. It's my favorite Civil War rifle. I love the carbines. Something else is fun to look at when you go to these shows is pistols. If you follow my channel, you'll see I did a uh, video on my Civil War pistol. All right, now I'm at the table now of the Union Drummer Boy. And they have some amazing artifacts here. This drum. Beautiful muskets. Real nice pistols.
And here I believe it. A bullet mold. Yeah, and you don't like to do here. <laughs> Not for what they charge. Uh, that's cannon shots. Now we got a surgeon's toolkit here. And just imagine the pain that them guys felt when they had that cell cut in their arm. Uh, Jerome there. There's somebody's coat. see a lot of swords at this show and they accept credit cards I believe these here are from like the 1700s now we're getting more into the Civil War swords now I'm at the table of College Hill Arsenal or uh, auction place they got some incredible stuff on their tables sorry about the glare a lot of light inside overhead a whole bunch of bayonets now here's a sword of Brigadier General Horace C. Lee and this sword is incredible. Look at the engraving on that. Got a lot of swords on this table. I have to say the engraving on these blades are just incredible. Lots and lots of muskets at this show. Oh, okay. Pistols, and they got well, how parts for our muskets. Oh, God. We got some boots and belts and Civil War jacket. There's a beautiful jacket here. It's for a lieutenant. All right, I showed you this before on a few videos, but I'm just amazed at how small some of these items are. You can see right there, that 
they they are so tiny. They got a little piece of cork in them and a medicine. They're about as thin as a pencil. But this thing is incredible. And another stack of swords. Uh, more muskets. For me, if you follow my channel, you know that I collect a lot of German. So uh, I'm pretty disappointed this show because there wasn't many World War II dealers here. Several loose Schultz helmets. Canteens. And a nice railroad visor cap there. Uh, Police Seiko. There's a really nice veterans visor cap. And yeah, Japanese. And German flight helmets. Pretty cool drum. Oh my goodness. Well, these pistols. You want to know the best part about this image when I popped the back? It, it was identified. Clearly a crude better jacket. No, not ID. But... Now we got an early U.S. Army dress coat. Nice embroidered sleeves on there. There's the cap for it. And moving over to. There's these little sculptures these people make and sell. And for you Marines out there, this one here is probably two foot tall. And then we got a sailor smoking a cigarette there. And here's going into Vietnam. Now we got a tank back there, and now here's a lot smaller ones. Now here's an A2 flight jacket for a um, B24 Liberator. Real nice artwork on the back of it. Don't know what this is, but look at the embroidery on that. That is beautiful. Come around here to the sleeves. Yep. Beautiful jacket. Uh, coming to a table here, it's a loof off a flak jacket. Africa Corps. German Army. Artillery. And here's a police hat and jacket. Loof off a 43 cap. Like I said, I'm sending a lot of hits. I don't want to be able to do the video. Otherwise, I wondered because it's got some yellow still on it. Real, it's real, real, real good bayonets there. The old yellow grenades, yeah. I mean, daggers, I mean. 
<laughs> That's a Navy ones. RAD officer. That's the one I really would like to have in my collection. RAD officer. This one right here. And right here we got Army ones. There's a picture of the Fuhrer. Got some canteens and helmet there. And then moving down here are some American uniforms. Second Armor Division dress jacket. There's a World War One. I, I believe that's Sixth Infantry Division. Made a few bucks. Hey, you all death this will be. What's that? I said, are you having a good show? There's like a whole trunk of the same guy. I'm buying more than I. Interesting jacket here. New Jersey. New Jersey? Okay, thanks. It's a guard uniform, and they don't have one in their museum. Didn't they? Because I called them, and they, I think the earliest one they have is Span Am, and that's early. What period is this one from? It's 1870s. 1870s, okay. Yeah, and so I offered to, but I never heard back from them. I think the guy I was talking to, you know. Uh, here we got a whole stack of uniforms. Some beautiful tennies in there. Now we got some cuff titles. Moving over here, some iron crosses, second class, or yeah, second class, campaign shields, some loof off of flight clasps, loof off of badges, both in metal and cloth. Now, uh, here's a very rare gorget that's for a uh, Standard bearer. Try to get it. There to go. Uh, that's a real beauty. Those are really rare. Very seldom ever see those. And more badges. Cased ones. Don't know what that one is. And if you want, you can go digging through some boxes here. And here we got two two tables just full of American helmets. Now this this guy here, these torsos are for headgear, depending on the. Uh, what war it is. Got them in all wars. That's Civil War I just showed you. This here is an awesome one for World War One, First Infantry Division. It's incredible looking. Army Air Corps pilot. And the metal one's probably Korean War, and one on the left there is probably from Vietnam. And then a whole bunch of knives. There's a mint unissued Hitler Youth shirt. All right, check this out. It's a German helmet. And somebody made a toilet out of it. It's uh, this part is uh, you know permanently marked or permanently fixed, but but you can see the seat comes down.
at a down inside there you can see where Hitler is. So spin it around here. And the stand it looks like it's made it from bullet casings. Set this like this. Forty two dated on that. Yeah, this thing is funny and interesting. They want fifteen hundred for it. That'd be pretty nice to have in somebody's collection. Make a nice conversation piece. That was just a bunch of Riker mounts with different stuff in it. Japanese there. It's a so it's called a thousand stitch belt. And that's there's a headband, kamikaze. It's American Navy insignias. Then we got more World War One uniforms. The Luftwaffe sword. And there's an army sword. Different cloth insignias in this one. Breast eagles. German Navy jump jacket. And then down here, German uniform, Navy uniform. All kinds of swords. I was going to say, I'm looking for oil. Nice artwork on that yeah, helmet. Yeah, those are nice ones. I don't have any now. And then you can even buy little small figures. Start your own World War II. Nice little bust here, Civil War guy. And back there, got a Confederate flag. Oh. I like a sniper rifle. Another M1 Garand. Yep, they got it all here. Yeah, here's my friend Danny from New York. He's a dealer. And he's got some Lufafa honor goblets. Well, I know I have army. Look, I might have. You got parts I have both fun. Oh, okay. And you can see on the very bottom, maker marked and silver content marked. And then on the inside of it. This is late. Yeah, these are so cool, but these things are so valuable nowadays. Yeah, I'll turn this one around here again. Get a nice close up of the Eagles. Uh, Doughboy backpack, World War One. Ah, uh, yeah. Show you this artillery pieces. These cutaways are always interesting. There's a grape shot load, and this one here, Confederate States, three inch reed shell, found in Wilderness, Virginia. 
1983. And this show is Confederate down in Fredericksburg in 1862. These shows are always interesting to collect. Uh, one last thing I'm going to show you here is a uh, Trent shotgun. Always love these. And then beside that, we got another M1 Grand, some carbines. There's a uh, G3340. Dot 42. See if I can get the receiver here. All right, I've got something here to show you guys that I've never seen this before. It's a rare World War II German POW camp armband and a Stalag 2A uniform shoulder strap. Phil Bachmann, Stalag 2A, assistant security guard. Look at that armband. Probably super rare. I've never seen one of those before. And then the shoulder board. It's also got the 2A on that one also. And here's the back of it. Let's see if it's... If any of you have ever seen one of these before, let me know in the comments. And then the back of it. Nice embroidery on that too. And uh, this is the vet's name. I brought it back. All right. There's the vet. I'm sure that's what it is. And there's the vet. Brought it back right here. I'll just go around and say that you sell her, and then I'll see that beautiful. And it's also got the information right here. A whole bunch, a couple pages full of information on it. But there it is. All right. There's the price on it with the book. If you're interested in it, here's my buddy's card. You can get a hold of him there at his phone number if you're interested in it. He's a retired Marine officer. Good guy. All right, guys, I'm finished in there looking around at the show now. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I've picked up a few things I'll show you here at the end of the video when I get home. So if, if you like the video, please hit the like button, ring that notification bell, and please subscribe to my channel. Until then, see you on the next video. Have a good weekend.